we are discussing today a very important topic that is the differences between the self pollination and the cross pollination right so the very first point is that what is self pollination as you know very well it is the transfer of the pollen grains from anther to stigma of same flower or different flower but which is born on the same plant okay again i am repeating what is self pollination it is the transfer of the pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the same flower or a different flower but born on the same plant okay is called as self pollination now coming to the another one cross pollination what is cross pollination it is to transfer of the pollen grains from anther of the one flower to the stigma of the another flower born on different plant but of same species is it clear what is cross pollination it is transfer of pollen grains from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower born on different plants but of same species the two different plants must be of same species is it clear it means it is very much clear that in self pollination we need only one plant means self pollination can occur uh, in one plant only while for the cross pollination it is necessary that there must be two plants fine second point it does not require any external agency as you know very well the name is indicating self pollination means self pollination which occurs in the same flower only fine so it does not require any external agency it does not requires any external agency means it doesn't requires the wind or the water or any animal agent like the insect etc while here cross pollination an external agent is required for the cross pollination that is it may be a water agency or the wind or the insect or any other agency fine so here do not require any external agency it requires the external agency now here both anther and stigma mature at the same time now it is the condition it is the condition that the self pollination will occur only when the anther and the stigma must mature at the same time means homogamy must be present homogamy must be present fine say for imagine if there is a bisexual flower right so everybody imagine that self pollination will occur but it's not necessary in the bisexual flower also the homogamy must be present means the anther and the stigma must mature at the same time if they will not mature at the same time or if in them the dicogamy is found then in that case uh, though the flower was bisexual but then also the self pollination will not occur the cross pollination will occur means here there is a condition that the anther and the stigma must mature at the same time but here the anther and the stigma mature at different time because here the anther and the mature anther and the stigma mature at different time and hence the cross pollination will occur now imagine if a bisexual flower is there and if its uh, maturity period of its uh, anther and the stigma is different then instead of the self pollination in that bisexual flower what will happen cross pollination will occur means i want to say that here the anther and the stigma must mature at the same time here the anther and stigma mature at different times clear coming to the fourth point it occurs even when flower is closed if you have heard about a clistogamous flower you have heard about a clistogamous flower a clistogamous flower is a flower which never open means its reproductive organs are not exposed it is closed so in that clistogamous flower self pollination occur always so what i want to say that uh, Uh, it occur even when the flower is closed means if the flower is closed then also the self pollination will occur but here the cross pollination in the case of the cross pollination the cross pollination will occur only when the flower is open uh, in a, a closed flower cross pollination may uh, it may not happen why because the pollen grains come from outside in the cross pollination so how it's possible that in the closed flower they will enter so here the cross pollination always occur in a open flower while the self pollination uh, it uh, can occur in the flower which is also closed now it produces homozygous offspring of course self pollination is not producing any variations so the offsprings which will be produced will be homozygous they will be similar to the parents because the pure lines are produced here 
heterozygous offsprings are produced. Why? Because the pollen grains are coming from a different flower. So here the heterozygous offsprings will be produced. So the self-pollination produces the homozygosity and the cross-pollination produces heterozygosity among the offsprings. Okay. Now, does not introduce any variations as the homozygous offsprings are produced and in self-pollination variations are not produced means I want to say that pure line progenies are obtained and if pure line progenies are obtained then there will be no variations but it is the chief feature it is the chief feature of the cross-pollination that variations are produced now we know very well that variations play a key role in evolution as here the variations are not introduced so the self-pollination does not contribute in the evolution while in cross-pollination variations are produced and hence it contributes to the evolution process. Here the plants have small flowers. Why? Because they don't have to attract the insects. They don't have to attract the insects. Right? So the flowers are small in the case of the self-pollination means self-pollinated flowers are small in size while the cross-pollination requires right uh, the animal agency in many cases animal agency and to attract the insects their flowers must have the bright color petals they must have nectar they must have scent so that the insects are attracted towards them and they will perform the pollination so here the plants have small flowers because they don't have to attract any insect and all here the flowers have bright color petals they have nectar they have uh, smell right means they are having fragrance so the insects are attracted towards them they produce a small number of pollen grains now in self pollination the transfer of the pollen grain occur from the enter to stigma of the same flower or on different flower but on found on the same plant so a small number of pollen grains are required but here large number of the pollen grains are required means a lot of the pollen grains are lost during the transfer okay during the transfer now it reduces gene pool always because the variations are not produced so it is reducing the gene pool it is reducing the gene pool while the cross pollination produces variations and it is maintaining the gene pool and it has also been seen that the self pollination occur in less number of the flowering plants only one fourth plants flowering plants have self pollination or perform self pollination while 75% of the plants that is three fourth of the flowering plants or the angiospermic plants perform cross pollination means in majority of the flowers cross pollination occur fine offsprings are less adaptive to the environment we know very well that here the variations are not produced and hence they are less adaptive to the environment while the cross pollinated offsprings the offsprings which are produced by the cross pollination are more adaptive to the environment means they will be able to cope up with the environment while they are they are having less uh, adaptability to the environment now the last point is that self pollination does not increase genetic diversity as we know very well variations are not produced they are not contributing to the evolution so does not increase the genetic diversity they are not increasing the diversity at all but here in the cross pollination as variations are produced and hence they are increasing the genetic diversity they are increasing the genetic diversity so these were the 13 points uh, which were showing the differences between the self pollination and the cross pollination it is very important topic and I have seen uh, that many times the question is asked from the self pollination and the cross pollination so these were the differences but for the detailed description of the self pollination and the cross pollination already I have uploaded uh, some videos based on them so you can go and view there okay so thanks a lot for watching me